So when I was in grade 10, I had this amazing opportunity to meet a pediatric neurologist at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. Spent the whole day with him, saw these amazing patients, and he figured out what was wrong with them. And I went home, and I was good at science, and I knew that day I wanted to be a doctor. Well, my parents were a thousand percent behind me, and then my wife Frances, daughters Francie and Allie, friends, and lots of support from granting agencies and particularly friends and colleagues in the sepsis field have made my professional life possible. I had some great mentors. When I was a resident, Dr. Gigi Boy in Toronto really helped me understand science. And then when I was doing my research fellowship in San Francisco, Dr. John Murray was instrumental in helping me decide to become a researcher. And then when I joined St. Paul's Hospital, Dr. Jim Hogg, really helped me get started with my own lab as a junior faculty member at UBC. My greatest pride is really the impact we've had on patients with sepsis. When I started this 35 years ago, the mortality in one month was 50%. So now it's down to 25%, and that's really due to the great teamwork we have in the intensive care unit and the Center for Heart-Lung Innovation at St. Paul's Hospital. We've really gelled and have made these great developments and accomplishments but they're now translated into better patient care and better outcomes.